Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make bases like Annex and Fade Black in the track Dismantle. So, this is the original version. And this is my recreation. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. In fact, this sound was a request by a Preset Pass member. But enough of introductions, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialized patch, and the first thing we need to do is to set up our oscillator. So I'm going to turn on the noise and the sub. Nothing too special. We're going to be playing a low D sharp. And next, we're going to create the movement. So for that, I'm going to map the phone number one into the oscillator A and the sub like this. Then we're going to create a shape like this that is very short and plucky. And now for the noise, we want to use a similar shape, but with a bit of a longer tail. So for that, we're going to duplicate this LFO. And for that, we need to hold Alt, click and drag into LFO number two. And there you go. We have a copy. And so now we can just easily create a longer tail for the noise like this. So now we get that. Now the principle behind the sound is to have your own harmonics. So for that, we're going to go into the wavetable editor. So we're going to add our fundamental harmonic number three, number five, and number nine. The reasoning behind this is that these harmonics generate overtones when we distort everything like this. So let's go back into the window and let's try to experiment with this. As you can see, you can get really creative with this. Now, very important, let's bring the random phase all the way down because if we don't, we will generate some phase cancellation that interacts in a different way with the sub that then fits the distortion. So we want a consistent sound and we want to play with its phase. Just like that. There you go. Now again, you can go back into the harmonics editor and you can play with the different harmonics, including their mixes. Depending on which harmonic do you want to be most present. So after you fine tune this, you can continue on the effects section. And here we're going to add a chorus just for more wideness into the sound. We're going to add a multiband compressor, add release, and then we're going to add an EQ. And with this EQ, we're going to boost the frequencies that we want to be more present in the sound. This is not to mix it, but to shape it. Like that. We're going to add a bit more highs. And then we're going to add a filter that will help us control more of the tail. So let's map LFO1 into the cutoff, hold shift and alt to make it unipolar. There you go. Now we want to add a transient into the sound. So for that, we're going to use LFO number three and map it into the master tuning via the matrix like this. Make sure we have it on unipolar and then we create a short falling shape like this. Set our envelope and now we have a short click and you can fine tune this. Now you can go back at any step of this sequence and shape your sound however you want. Like this. Sounds very cool. And now let's jump into some post processing. So the first thing we're going to do is to add a vocoder. And the reason why is because we want to add a bit of noise. So we're going to click on Enhance. We're going to set the range up. Shape our bands. And we're going to mix this noise in with the dry and wet. Bring the release down so the tail is shorter. There you go. Next, we're going to add another EQ. And we're going to boost the frequencies that we like. There you go. 
And now to add that crazy flangery effect that is in the track, we're gonna add a delay. So here in this delay, we're gonna remove the sync, bring the feedback down, make the dry and wet all the way up, hit Ctrl G to group this, and then duplicate our chain, and we're gonna have a dry chain and a wet chain. Now let's remove everything from the dry chain, and on the wet chain, we can experiment with the feedback and with the time of the delay, like this. So we're gonna automate the feedback in the second half, like this, like that, and we can also play with the different times. Like that. Now we're gonna automate the dry and wet to not be present on the first bar. And so now, there you go. Now it's all about experimenting with these two parameters and their automation. Let's try and see if we can. There you go. Let's add something like reverb here. Let's mix this too. And like this. Cut it here. Bring the decay time all the way down. And now let's play with the wet chain. And we're gonna automate the mix of this. So now we're pressing on the first phrase but come slowly in the second one. There you go. And so with this workflow in mind, you can just experiment all day, bring interesting presets that make something that you don't expect. For example, I really like this Joe Man preset in Chorus. Bring it before everything. There you go. And now let's mix it in. Like this. So now in our phrase, we have this. There you go. Now to add more of a trancing in the sound, I also layered this snare. I made sure it is the same tuning. And you can find this snare sample in our free Discord sample pack. You can get it on our website, the link is in the description below. So this is our final result. And if we put it in context, We get that. Now to make this sound more of your own, you can go back into the serum patch and here you can experiment with the different harmonics. For example, click on this button and add the octave of this 9, which will be 18. Or something in between. Or just don't use the sequence and use a different one, like this. There you go. Also, you can try and not use this type of shape. You can add a bit of attack. But obviously, you gotta remove this snare. There you go. Make it slower. And now, keep experimenting with harmonics. There you go, we're on our way to make something cool. Let's make this faster. Let's actually consolidate our MIDI. Make our notes longer like this. Let's change our level. So I have a falling shape like this. There you go. And you can experiment all day. There you go. Now let's add more harmonics. Now let's add maybe more highs in the EQ. So now... We're on our way to create something original. Just by changing parameters that are a key for the sound.
That's very cool. There we're back in the original sound. But yeah, this is gonna be it for this sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you wanna get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.